Hey, this is Tasha, the Crafty Kraut. Um, <clears throat> I'm making this pepper, kind of pepper Greek salad type of thing. Excuse me. We had this last year um, for a break fast, something similar to this, um, and it was catered, so I wasn't quite sure what the recipe was, but what I do is um, I get some peppers. Um, today I have yellow, red, and orange peppers. You can add green peppers, um, whatever, whatever colors you want. Um, and you go ahead and you chop these up into you know, cubes. They don't have to be perfect. Ooh, okay. Um, and then you get a cucumber and tomatoes. Um, you want a decent amount of tomatoes because the tomatoes um, will kind of add extra liquid to your um, salad. And the other thing that you need is I use this Newman light red wine vinegar and oil and olive oil. I use that one and it's really good. It's really, really good. So. So you're gonna go ahead and chop everything up, right? Cut this out, and then you just pour the um, vinegar and oil, the dressing into it. You don't need a ton of it. Um, you can kind of just do it by taste. I probably use about a, I don't know, a third of a cup or so, and it's plenty because, like I said, the um, the tomatoes and the cucumbers, they kind of um, add a little extra liquid because of the summer parts. Um, and then you just shake it up and then periodically in the fridge, just shake it up, you know, every once in a while or before you eat it. And it's a really good, healthy snack um, for those of you that are doing 21 Day Fix. It will be a good snack for that. Um, but it's just a good snack in general. Um, you know, healthy, or you can use it, of course, as a side for your dinners. And if you have extra peppers, you can save them and use them for a breakfast for um, eggs or something. But just go ahead and chop that up. Add your dressing, and you don't have to use that dressing, but it's that's like my favorite dressing. I use that on my regular salads too. Um, you could actually use this as part of your salad on lettuce. You could just scoot some, scoop some of this on there um, instead of putting um, salad dressing. So a few options that you have. I don't know really how to cut a tomato, so I just kind of cut it my way. These tomatoes are so good. I'd like to grow my own, but they're very, very good at growing my own stuff. See, as you can see, all this liquid from the tomatoes, and that will actually um, just get into your dressing. I'm going to do um, this whole tomato, and then I'm gonna, I have a small tomato. I'm going to do that one too. So. This one wasn't very big. So you can kind of just add whatever, you know, whatever you like best, you can add more of. Um, you can also add feta cheese um, when, you're, when you're putting it on your plate. You can add feta cheese, it's really good. It's kind of like a Greek dressing. And shake it up and it's really good. I hope you guys enjoy it. Give it a try, it's um, really great for the summer. Um, when it's hot outside, it's a good meal replacement, and I mean, get all your veggies, or most of them at least. My husband, this is like one of his favorite things. We didn't quite figure out the other recipe, because like I said, it was catered, but this is pretty close to it. And it actually reminds me of, um, a Greek salad that we've had on our cruises. NCL 
has a um, Greek salad that they used to, or that we used to order for room service late at night. Um, it was on the oops, Mediterranean um, cruise. Okay, this, this tomato is a little soft, but it's okay. Just gonna add that extra juice to it. Um, and it was, I mean, it was one of my favorite things. I couldn't wait until we got back to the room and we ordered that. Um, cucumber, you can leave the skin on. Um, of course, you know, the skin's usually the healthiest part on most of the veggies, so what I do is I'm just gonna kinda go around and um, leave some of it on and take some of it off. Uh, sometimes the skin can be a little chewy, so um, just don't like the whole thing to be As you see, I'm not a pro at cutting, but you just cut it however. You could also add onions, but that's all you need. Oops, man, I just dropped most of that on the floor. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Just um, put your dressing on it, shake it up real good, put it in the fridge, let it get nice and cold, and you've got an amazing side dish or meal replacement. Thanks for watching. Here it is so far.